Uh, we are joined by Madame Emmanuel Mobilier of Le Trou in France. Bienvenue, Emmanuel. Bonjour, Dan. Okay. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thanks for joining us. Bienvenue à notre réunion. Welcome to our meeting here in, in Dublin. You're an old friend of Dublin, and it's great that you've just found the time to speak to us tonight about the Irish American Weekend. You've uh, you've some experience in America yourself, Emmanuel. It's like selling snow to the Eskimos. You have sold trotters to New York. Yes, we had a plan a few years ago, um, and uh, we have sold 24 trotter français to Juncker's owners. It has been a big success, and we were lucky to welcome here um, Ron Burke and. Uh, uh, some legend drivers to pick the horses, to choose the horses, okay. and uh, for that um, they have organized a big uh, season for the with the Trotter Francais program in Junkers. It was amazing. Very good. Well done. Yeah, bien, bien joué. Tell me, what sort of time for the mile are these French trotters going in uh, Junkers? Do you know? How many? What time, what is the kilometer rate, the, the time uh, for uh, the, the mile, the, 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 the mile, the 155, 156? Uh, I don't know, but um, I remember that the, the, the US trainers um, were very happy with the quality of the trotters we have sent. Good. They were quite old, they were like between seven and nine years old trotters. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And they say that it has been amazing to see how fast these horses um, have succeeded and they have uh, qualified two weeks after uh, landing in US and they have been able to race very soon and very easy on the Junkers track mm -hmm. that is quite different from the French track, as you know. Mm -hmm. But um, these horses have been successful not only on the foot of the program, but also on all the young races. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, the Irish horsemen have been very impressed with the durability and the stamina of the Trotter Francais. You know, we have horses in our country like Valenzana, uh, yeah. Silvano Bello, Camilo Perrin, Zimbratica. Yeah. These horses are still racing really well at 12 and 13 years of age. I think that's one of the characteristics of the Trotter Francais horse. Um, he's a strong horse and is able to race to have a very long career. Uh -huh. um, that's why I think also the US trainer were interested in these horses because they have the, in US they have a big program for the young horses. But in uh -huh. France we also have a main program for the older horses. Yeah. And in France, they are authorized to race until 10, but in many countries, they race till 12, 13. And yeah, and after that, they also have a, can have a riding career. I yeah. mean, yeah. they are very, very durable, tough, uh, yeah. uh, uh, tough horses. We say in English, tough, very tough horses. So to change the subject, have you been following the career of Eva Farpe? in uh, Chester Downs in America. Yeah, for sure. And we have made a, a big, um, big uh, in, we have a daily for the trotting now in France, and uh, she has been in the cover page. It, it has, it's some story, you know? Yes, nice Mr. story. Mr. Alan Wallace Jr. And yeah. Alan Wallace Jr. And With of that. course, of course, the governor, Liam Wallace. They're yeah. clever, they're clever. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, some going to, 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 to achieve this for this horse. So, some questions for you, uh, Emmanuel. Uh, how many years have you been involved in Ireland? Has Litro been involved with IHRA? I think we have been involved now for seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, six years. Six years. Mm -hmm. But it has been so fast. I mean, it's impressive how fast. It has grown. I think now we have exported like more than 200 trotters, including broodmares and racing horses. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. Yeah, between 200 and 250 floaters have crossed the Atlantic to travel to Ireland. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, it, it has been. Have the third of horse is born in Ireland, but came to France to race to start racing. So mm -hmm. I think it's, it has been so fast, but it's the beginning only. It has been a fantastic success, and you're correct. It's only the beginning. Um, how do you rate the Irish horsemen, uh, Emmanuel? Uh, are you impressed with the standard of horsemanship uh, amongst Billy Billy Roach, John Richardson? Martin Lochran, our leading drivers. Um, first of all, Ireland is like the, one of the best countries for the horses and for the horsemen. I mean, it's fam Ireland is famous worldwide for the horses, for horses, thoroughbred, of course. And uh, I think that the um, horses' blood. Is in the in all the Irish people. Horses blood is in the <laughs> Irish people. That's a, a good way to put it. I always say, anywhere you go in the world, if there's a champion horse, doesn't matter if it's a show jumper, an Arab horse, a steeplechase horse, a dressage horse, a trotter. If there's a champion horse, there's an Irish man somewhere close by. Yeah. <laughs> I always, I always I notice. But I think uh, yeah. that we were so happy that. It's so important for us to help Ireland to develop the trotting because I'm sure that in the next year, Ireland will be a big place for trotting mm -hmm. because the young people I've met in Ireland, they're all, they are so involved, so passionate and they, they go to Australia, to France, to United States, to Sweden to learn and learn more, to make their experience. So, I'm sure that Ireland will be a big part of the trotting in Europe in the next. Yes, yeah. I agree with you. I have been very impressed with young people like Oshin Quill, Luke Kelleher, Owen Murphy, uh, Johnny Cowden, and the ladies, Charlie Flanagan and Erin Flanagan. They have so much passion for the sport and they work so hard at it. Yeah. And now at that time, I think Shimus Quill is well, uh, Sylvain Roger, trainer, yeah. the famous trainer of Dahlia du Pomereux and so on. All right. And I'm, I will probably meet him next week when we will check some horses, for new horses for Ireland. Yes. But uh, now that's amazing. And and Seamus, Seamus has gone to work for a French trainer, yes? Who? Seamus Quill has gone. That's very interesting. Yeah. Well, Emmanuel, we're almost we're almost out of time. Uh, do you mind giving us some advice that you have the experience of the true initiative in Ireland? And would you, I know that France is not a pacing nation and they don't have cases in France. But as a friendship thing to America, could you give the owners of Cattle Wash, uh, Heston Blue Chip, and the other horse, Betting Line, some advice about how to deal with the Irish and talk a little bit about how Ireland embraced the true initiative? I think it has been amazing for me to come to Ireland and to meet all these Irish people trainers, owners, families, because it's trotting and pacing is just like a spot for families. Yeah. And, uh, they are all involved in it. And I think it's amazing to come to Ireland and to visit your tracks and your races mm -hmm. because of the passion you can feel all around. Mm -hmm. And I can tell the American people, let's go to Ireland. But it's a fantastic country. You will have a wonderful time. And uh, you can share with uh, us lovers. Um, that's a great experience, a personal great experience. Uh, you've had a personal great experience. Well, I can tell you, Emmanuel, you have a big reputation in Ireland. Everywhere I go with my job for the newspaper, I hear Emmanuel Morvillier, Emmanuel Morvillier, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Morvillier. That's all we hear. You've done a lot for our sport, and so many people here are grateful to you. Thank you. That's, uh, but, uh, you know, it has been such a long time. I've not been to Ireland because of the sanitary situation. 
and I miss it so much. Love the COVID, yeah, well, well, we miss you. Do you miss the Guinness? Yeah, also. <laughs> <laughs> it's something I have never been in Ireland. Um, I would love to come for the races on the beach. Yeah. yeah. And last weekend we had one in France. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking, oh, it's, I should have gone for this race in Cork. That's it. It's Cork. It's in a place called, uh, oh, I stayed there, uh, Incidoni. Incidoni. Yeah. yeah? That's uh, amazing. La, la, la Plage, la plage Apale, Incidoni Strand. And it's really, really beautiful. And uh, you should come sometime. It's definitely one of the most beautiful locations in the world for trotting. And there's also thoroughbred racing up at a place called Laytown. So uh, you'll go to something, but I hope you come to the trotting in uh, Incidoni County Court. I'm sure the IHRA will look after you if you want to come. Your friend, Mr. James Levis. James Levis and James O'Sullivan, they're locals in Cork. So I'm sure they'd be glad to see you. So, once again, Emmanuel Morvillas, a tremendous friend of Ireland and Le Trout. We thank Emmanuel, their board of directors in Le Trout, and Emmanuel herself personally for your assistance in Ireland. Uh, thank you, and merci beaucoup, and good night. I wish you a wonderful weekend with this uh, nice event I'm following on Facebook. Good. And I wish you all the success. I know you will have some big names and big people, and I will for sure uh, look at this week. Thanks, Emmanuel. Once again, and good night.